Another episode of No Cap Reacts. I'm your man Bailey, aka Mr. Go. Get him! And we are back in the motherfucking building. And I got these niggas with me <laughs> on this. Oh. 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 Freaky motherfucking Friday. Freaky shit. I got a nigga in the house that look like he about to try to rob me. Not yet. I'm going to wait till after this show. I got another nigga in the house. He light skinned. He going to try to fuck all the bitches. So cold. Tell him who you are. Man. I go by the name of So Cold. You know, I got a clothing line. So Cold Clothing. Check it out. You get on. <clears throat> I'm back. Say what's up to my boys right here. I'm about to turn up. See how freaky y'all is tonight. And then for Drake Jr. over there. <laughs> Not the Drake. Your boy Carmine, aka Carmine Keith. Follow me on IG and follow my business page, Carmine Collection. What does Carmine Collection do? We sell vintage clothing. So come get your drip. Yeah, that part. Vintage sports, vintage music, hats, shirts, jackets, whatever you need. I got it. Get your swag up. Facts. What's the most vintage thing you sold? Like the oldest thing? Yep. Mm, I sold probably like the 40s, 1940s. What was it? It was a motherfucking think. penny. Nah, some like old military pants. They were like from the 30s or 40s. How the fuck you get a hold of that shit? Hey, man. Can't give, you, can't give you the sauce. <laughs> but, yeah, some old military pants. Cole, what you do? I work for the airlines. So if your bitch live out of state, I might get to her. <laughs> you know I mean? Might even fly her out. Not here, though. Ah, shit. So what you saying is you snatching bitches out, out, of, out of the sky? Like ludicrous, man. Oh, Everywhere. shit. Y'all heard this shit, right? Uh. <laughs> He's snatching. Oh, he needs God. some milk. All y'all weak-ass niggas bitches and shit. TYG. <laughs> All right, so the crazy part is we got some uh, females coming up in here, right? We got, we got some special guests coming through for y'all. So we got some special, special guests coming up in here. Whoo! In the meantime, in between time, we gonna we gonna uh, we gonna take it back to where it where it originally at. Let's start with uh the first person I met was Keith back there. One of the original members of No Cap and All Drip before we was No Cap Reacts. Yes, sir. All right, sir. So let the let the world know who you is. Well shit. My name's Keith. Go by Carmine. Let me fix that. Oh, yeah. Because I keep, keep fucking with it. I keep fucking with it. Um, But, yeah, I met this fool, Bailey, working back in the day. But had a podcast with my boy. Took a little break, but we, we back at it. Nigga need to stop taking breaks. He should have never took a break. We on nice. the air. Nice. <clears throat> and then the... Uh, Ray said, my work son. <laughs> Facts. Ray was definitely the work mom. I fuck with Ray. All right. Fuck and then uh, we got this black ass, super black ass, super ninja in the building. You feel me? How the hell we meet? Man, uh, basically, uh, I came up to y'all place of employment. <laughs> <laughs> the J-O-B. I, yeah, the J-O-B. I needed a little jizz out. So I came up there and uh, y'all was selling, selling stuff and I'm. 
obviously I could sell dreams. So I spit a little shit, came in and started running the whole motherfucking scenery. <laughs> This nigga wasn't just selling dreams. This nigga was selling dick, too. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> no face, no case. I don't know what y'all talking about. <laughs> so he came up here today, super incognito, no no to make case, sure don't, don't nobody uh, <laughs> see who he is. So he came up here today, super incognito, no no to make sure don't nobody uh, <laughs> see who he is. So he came up here today, super incognito, to make sure don't nobody... Remix. <laughs> All the different screens on this motherfucker. Baby so y'all gonna all see day. all the chats over here. They usually over here, but that's the one. For those of y'all, we had some technical difficulties. With the technical difficulties, you know, we had to restart the whole system and start all over to get us to where we at today. I had to call IT. Now we right where we supposed to be. Now we right where we supposed to be. All right. So on Freaky Friday, that's exactly what it is. Uh, we get freaky on, on on Friday nights, okay? I get freaky every night. Fuck. <laughs> that is true. All right, so if motherfucker was supposed to explain who you are and what you do, how would you explain it, sir? Who I am and what I do. Yep. Man. To the to to those that don't know. They got to find out. They got to tap in with yeah, my boy. Just tap in. Uh, I mean, I do a lot of different things. Shit. So Exactly. That's just the whole look. It just That's depends. That's the whole reason I got you. you know what I mean? So it just can, depends. can tap in with you wherever you at. It just depends. We need, we need some gear. I got the clothing line jumping. You know what I'm saying? We get you right. If I can't get you right, this man next to me can. So right. you're going to get right. So you trying to travel? Holler at me. I might be able to plug you here or there. Get the prices right. If not, take your ass to Frontier. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> take your ass to Frontier. Why are you Spirit. trying to kill niggas? Spirit or something. You know what I'm saying? Get on that soul plane. But, you know, I still actively play football. Travel to do that. So we go to tournaments and shit all across the globe. And just turn up. I just, it's just a vibe. We just, we, we party and, and play at the same time. You know Living what I'm saying? Life. So we just... Uh, do our thing. I do want to say one thing though. Shout out to my uh my brother, rest in peace. You feel me? So, uh, that's probably like the biggest change in my life. But we 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 out though. You know what I mean? I'm gonna live for him. So, I'm gonna keep it moving. For uh for the brother man. Dom the Marco Marco. So when I saw that on your uh Facebook, I wanted to ask you about it, but at the same time, I didn't want to ask you about it because I know how it is. Yeah. Uh, you know, I ain't lose a brother, but I lost my mama. Right. So we all we all go through these things. You know, my condolences. And then uh, you called in on the show one night. Uh, yeah, I think I was off that hand dog. You feel me? Who was the guest? Who was up here? I don't even remember who was up here. You know, the crazy part is, hmm. I ain't even realize it was not that it called in. That's because even stuff. when you call in on the phone line. It's it's not so y'all remember digits right? Yeah. yeah. That's how I, I do my phone calls. So I ain't even realized like who called in and how they called in and don't show the it shows the number right, but it ain't got nobody like attached to it. So whew, it was one of those situations where he called in and it wasn't until after fact. I was like, man, that sound like not. And this nigga forever changing his phone. You called on some boy. You yeah. on some even bullshit when he, that even night. Even when he called it, and he called me earlier, I was like, "Who the hell is calling me from a goddamn? This nigga got a two one three, a Long Beach number." <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's one of the phones. You know, it just depends on who you is. You can't have both, but you can get one. It might last for six months. <laughs> I'm gonna change it for sure. So tonight we doing an extra special night. See, we got Kashawn in here. We got Rain here. Kashawn, my boy. Case. Slay my vape. <laughs> <laughs> so tonight we gonna do literally what the fuck we do, which is talk shit. I'm gonna open up these phone lines here in a minute. Uh, for for those that watch on a regular basis, y'all already know. Hit the phone lines, call in, tell us either a freaky story, you know, get us on that shit that you be talking about, and or uh, talk I, your shit. Yeah, just call in, ask us something. Promote your business, whatever it is. You know, I'm wide open to it. I'm all for it. 
This whole purpose of this situation is to, uh, you know, open it up for for the world to to see and enjoy. And for who knows what reason, camera number one is acting crazy now. All these goddamn technical difficulties. See, this is what happens when you let too many black people in the goddamn house. That's what happens when you let way in the boonies, man. Right. <laughs> We, we over overpopulated the area with black people tonight. They don't, they don't know what to do over nice. here. I went to the QT over by here. Not a black person. Man, I I, I was scared to stop. <clears throat> scared, nigga. This is Paradise Valley. Ain't shit happening over Right, here. and they gonna think my black ass trying to rob them. So yeah, let me not stop. Let me not stop. Gas on eat. I'm trying to get down to Twenty Seventh Avenue <laughs> to see if I get gas over there so I can make it. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. He said, Kashawn. I ain't know Kashawn be tapping in and watching. Yeah. Everybody. I ain't seen my here. boy since. Hey, Dimitri is on here. What's up, D? <laughs> all right. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Anybody want to call in? 602-736-6660. The phone lines are now officially open. 602-736-6660. By all means, go ahead and call in. We will have some ladies here in the building soon. I'm not going to lie. Tonight's going to be a little bit different. Okay? As of right now, you see us on Facebook. You also see us on uh, YouTube. You also see us on Twitch, Kick, and Rumble. When the ladies get in, y'all are going to have to go to Kick and Rumble. It might get, it might get a little spicy. Because there's some situations that potentially might go on tonight that Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube is not going to allow. So I'm going to put it in the chat right now. I need y'all to go and uh, subscribe and follow. Tonight's show is going to be on Kick and Rumble because it can get NC-17 all the way to Triple X. If it gets to some Triple X shit, then uh, we definitely just going to be on Just Kick. Man, when you seen so called in the building, you know what time it was. Y'all already know this shit ain't staying on Facebook. <laughs> this <laughs> not staying on Facebook. Oh uh, shit! What you do for the Super Bowl? Me, honestly, uh, you even in town? No, nah, yeah, I was. I was here. Um, my homeboy that work at the airlines, he knows uh, Meek Mill and his posse. So we we slid up to eleven eleven for a little bit. Uh, not too much. Um, I just really, I really uh fuck with Meek's music and fuck with Meek just in general. You know, what I mean, another dark skinned nigga to a dark skinned nigga. You feel me? So I had to go up there with them niggas and show some love. So that shit was that shit was live. Um, shit, I live in the West Valley, so like, I wasn't trying to be over there because I knew everything was going to be packed. So I really was just on the east side, just chilling and like hanging with the hanging with the gang. You feel me? Nothing, nothing too crazy. Everything. This whole city was packed. But I stayed like two minutes. From Glendo the was worse though. I stayed right next to Desert Diamond. Like, yeah, I was up there. I was at Westgate for the game, like, watching that shit at at Fat Tuesdays. Yeah, I was trying to find out where Rihanna was. Check on my baby. That's my baby. She having. <laughs> Rihanna had a mansion in North Scottsdale, about literally about fifteen minutes east of here. Yeah, I pulled up. Fat little man. What'd your ass do? Who, me? Yeah, I was supposed to be out this fool. He like, man, we about to go out. We about to go crazy. Nigga, I made money the whole time. I was doing <clears> oh, yeah, you was doing security. You told me. Man, me, it's like, where the friends at? Huh? You I can't wait doing, for that shit. Boy. I was doing security. I was out here getting to the bag. Everybody else was... Initially, initially, I said I was going to be out here in these streets. But then things started to happen. Things started to change. People started to made calls and uh i was like yeah why would i go spend money when i can go make money yeah, got facts. and everybody in the city needed security yeah yo but you hear about that shit they did to little baby what happened to baby they didn't they didn't pay the man at what club it was, I, I knew, I knew, I knew it was gonna happen like that because it was on, it was like some shit on like Forty Third and Indian School. Like, if I had Stratus. that, nigga, yeah, if I had that nigga, now, I was, hey, don't do it, man. No, so he pulled up. The, he yeah, pulled he up. Pulled up. Hey, but look, I respect the man a little bit more though, cause uh, 
He told the niggas, like he told everybody that was there, like, yo, I didn't get my bread, but I'm still gonna perform for y'all because I fuck with my fans and he still did his shit though. You know what I'm saying? What's so, crazy? I feel like some of these clubs be knowing that shit though. Man. You know what I mean? Uh, like Lil, that's the one person. That's the one person that for real, I feel like uh he didn't come out here with like his goon niggas. He came out here really on some peaceful shit. Yeah. If it would have been, if he would have had like three other niggas with him, it was a done deal. And then, uh, so at the strat, so I got called to do the stratus for Lil Durk and uh, and uh, Future. And Future didn't show up. Dirk did. Now get this, Mayweather showed up. Okay, first and foremost, they didn't want no armed security. They only wanted unarmed security. And you can't fight, so that was you, that was it. Ass, what you gonna do? Yeah, yeah right. Blow the whistle, yeah, right, right. <laughs> baby. Like, well, nigga, I'm, I'm gonna sit this one out. So Mayweather showed up with his security, all his jewelry on and shit. Two of his people was armed. Tell me why they was talking about they wasn't even gonna let him in. For that reason alone, if it wasn't for a. Uh, or uh, the motherfucker that got me synced in with this whole situation in the first place, uh, that shit was not about to happen. It was crazy. It was crazy. He said, nah, 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 we ain't going for that. You're letting him and his security in. I'll run this. I'm running security. Fuck the club. Let him in. Took him right to his uh to his shit. Yeah, no. Nah, Floyd always moved crazy. I seen a video of him at Fashion Square with, like, a motherfucking square. This nigga has this nigga. 15 security yeah, guards and nah, he they, travels they with made like a, seven females. Yeah, they made a square around that nigga. And he was just walking in the middle. They made a big ass like box and you just could not get into him. Yeah. That nigga's the uh that nigga's the goat in, of polygamy. They, that's what I call that nigga. Yeah, he go crazy. The goat of polygamy. He fuck all bad bitches and they all know each other and cool with each other. Right. Got a room at the crib. Literally. Everybody got their own room. In the thirty room mansion, and he swap he swap them out every time right before their thirtieth birthday. Gonna get you a new a new young bitch. That's Bailey Dream right there. Bailey trying to do that. Get you a young bitch. You got to man. You know you gotta have a little a little jazzy little young one that just go crazy. Sometimes sometimes the other ones they just be like oh they don't want to do too much. You know what I'm saying? You get you a little young. Yeah, actually I got a question for the homies. What's the youngest and the oldest you would fuck with? <laughs> Damn. At your current stage uh, right yeah, now. I was going to say, you at this mean? age, at this at, age. At this point in your life right now. At this age, I'm not going 25 and up. And then the oldest, shit, when I was 28, the oldest chick that I smashed was 55. But she looked like she was 35. And I ain't never went anywhere close to that since. See. So you're around the same for the, the cat. It was like 55, 65. No, 55, nigga. She was 55. <laughs> I'm asking now, you you as a 45-year-old no, man, I'm what, you, what you doing? She got to be 55, looking like she about 35. Yeah. Which is more common nowadays than, yeah, than, be, than before. No, I look, I'll say that. I, I, plan on, I actually that. plan on doing a whole video because I ain't going to lie. There are certain chicks that are between the age of like 40 and 55 that are making these... That are literally making these young chicks look like they ain't shit. Nah, that's fair. And I'd be yeah. like, God damn. Nah, is she young? I mean, she old? That's facts. I ain't gonna lie, man. All right, Knock, what's your, what's your, what's your frame look, looking like? Look, what's the min max? I might have to change my range after the other day. I'm at the airport working this shit, right? Oh, lady walked by. I'm like, God damn. Hey, like, like how old we talking though? I don't know how old she was. Like if you she had got, a guess. If I had to guess, she was at least fifty seven. That's crazy. She, she was she was she was older, but like body right fit, you know what I'm saying? Like she was she was cold. I was about to you need help getting somewhere type <laughs> shit, you know what I'm saying? Like so I, I, I don't know how old she was, but what I say we we go we go fifty five and twenty you gotta be able to drink, so I'm gonna say twenty one. Can you do something for me? You feel me? <laughs> Queen <laughs> said black don't crack. Oh God. <laughs> Yeah, that's like do that not part. crack. And she was thick too. And oh, I feel like lady. Spanish women age well too. Black and Spanish women. Yeah, no I facts, say. facts. 
Well, Spanish woman is black. I keep saying it. I don't understand how why people think Latino, <laughs> all Hispanics and Latinos are black. Man. It's crazy too, because that's why a lot of I feel like certain Mexican men look like light skinned dudes, kind of in a way. You know what I'm 100%. saying? One hundred percent. Like we got a lot of the same features for sure. Look! Look at everything. Everything Hispanic culture. So I just had this conversation with some. Look at all. Look at the Mayans. If you look at the Mayans replicas, if you look at all, everything, that look like the exact same shit in Africa. African niggas left Africa and went to Mexico, Brazil, Venezuela, all that shit, and just took over that shit. And then the clear people came and fucked up all that shit, and then started. Having babies with putting bait, putting they same thing they did here. Yeah. Putting their babies and you know fucking up the fucking up the greatness of this blackness. Speaking I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to agree with my boy Bailey though on my min max. I don't know under 25 for me right now, and I ain't even that much older than that. But under 25 just be turning me off. So you got to be real. Y'all don't want special. the hot and readies. Nah, bro. Gotta I'm, get tell- that hey, nigga, I'm telling you, after I hit 25, bro. Girls around like 20, 21, 22 just turn me off. Like, so yeah, I'll probably say like 20, 25 to men, max. Shit, you a bad 50 year old, you can get it. No, but I, like, I, I feel that with the under, like the under 25, because you know, they still like, like active. They yeah. do it like, too much. Like they want to, they want to, they want to FaceTime you until you fall asleep yeah. type shit. Oh no, like, Lauren said thirty to fifty. Nigga, you supposed to be here. Where your ass? Right. Said? I thought you was coming through. Yeah, they better, they better drop their men max Lauren, in the, Lauren in the, in the stop, chat, man. You know damn. Lauren well, will knock a twenty five. Yeah, twenty seven. Lauren might knock a twenty two year old if she's man, smart. Man, the nigga, right? Come on now. <laughs> Don't be doing my nigga Lauren like that. No, we just saying he. He trying to, he trying Lord, to act call like, in, call in, he nigga, trying to act like he above call 30. Call in and protect yourself, nigga. Man, yeah, yeah. Hey, he see a bad one <laughs> with the socks on here. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. She got some funky socks on. He going. <laughs> Look, Lord, Lord see a motherfucker at Disneyland wearing some, uh, some goofy socks and he going in. Yeah. I ain't saying you go low 20s, but Lauren will definitely crack a 25 year old. Yeah. On God who would. I don't know that nigga like older women. Hey, that's the move though. Older women is definitely. Hey, y'all hear this? Y'all little young little motherfuckers out there. All that young shit y'all be doing. That, that shit ain't cute. Dude. But see, this is the difference. If if you like, if I'm Keith age, right? And no kids and oh. shit roaming these streets. I'm smacking the hell out these old females because I know they ain't having no babies. And the STD rate is so goddamn low that if you had want to have one of them nights where you just. You really want that real feel? You gonna wake up in the morning and still feel good, and she probably gonna be cooking your ass breakfast. <laughs> hey, uh, we got company. Yeah, we got company. guests is pulling up. Ah shit! Anybody else throw their answers in you the chat? Me? I'm blind as hell. I can't see. Hold on, real quick. You give them the gate code. You know what it is? Yeah. It's, All right. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I don't even need to get in the gate code. They need to just park up front and then go pick them up and bring them back. You know, I got a coupe. <laughs> it's just me and one other and the front windshield tending in case you want to get real freaky the front windshield tending I'm going to be in the WT but yeah that don't mean shit I can go I can go snatch them but before we do that okay here's here's the real question hmm. let's say she 45 she got 5 kids one of them is 2 years younger than you and it's her daughter. You fucking the mama or you fucking the daughter? Both. If I'm picking one? You have to pick one, but they both want to fuck you. Who's better? That's up to you. Who's? Shit. Yeah, I don't know. I'm probably give me the one with more experience. For real. So you're going to go for the older one? Yeah, give me the mama. <laughs> give me the mama. I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna do the same thing I did back in the day. I'm hitting both of them. I'm just gonna hit them separately. Yeah, you fell for that? Uh, no, I'm not. They both want to fuck with me. They all with it. We gonna get it. Simple as that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we gonna do something that we never do. We gonna take a break. Cause we got some uh, uh, And they are now uh, at the gate. Mm, uh, 
I gotta let him in and bring him in so y'all can do it. Um, y'all yeah, probably need to go to kick and rumble. I would nope. say leave it open for a little bit. Yeah, and don't then so, nah, I'm finna leave this on right now. Yeah, we can while keep, y'all, it, while keep y'all it PG keep... for the beginning. You know, let everybody see it and then switch them over. And then we gonna, we gonna, we gonna go jump in, jump in. So We'll be back, ladies and gentlemen.
No go. Huh? That crazy girl out there again. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, give us about five minutes. We will be right back. Going off the air.